Booga 2000 Show with your host, Booga, aka Gabby. Hi, welcome to our next episode with our guest, Lori, aka my mom. And tonight we will be conversating about um, entertainment, such as acting and singing and all that fun stuff that we all love to gossip about. So, Mom, or can I call you Lori for this interview? You can call me whatever you want, just as long as it's bitch. <laughs> uh, I'll call you Lori. No, I'll call okay. you Mom, so better. Mom, how do you feel about the Twilight Saga Part 2 being interviewed with the Hunger Games movie? Because the Hunger Games, like, when the Hunger Games is, like, in the theaters, Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 2 will be one of the previews. How do you feel about that? Well, as long as it's a preview, I'm glad that it's not coming out the same time that the it's Hunger not, Games is coming. coming out in yeah, just as long as just as long as the Hunger Games has its time to ride and captivate the audience. I mean, I like the Twilight series. I mean, it's a nice romantic story. However, I don't know. I you know, I talk to a lot of girls from work, and they feel that the books are really good. Matter of fact, I got the books, and I start reading them. They say the books, the movies don't even compare to the books. And after the last movie, they really have to bring it up with this one because. The last movie I thought really sucked. I mean, yeah, the, the love story was there, but I don't know, just the effects and some of the shit mm -hmm. that went down. It was just that like wasn't, all it was. It wasn't. It wasn't. It, like, wasn't, it wasn't like the first two. I can tell like, you that much. Like this is basically all it was for all you people who didn't see it, which probably most of you saw. You don't want to ruin it for them though. It's it's a summer. Oh, just go ahead. It's a summer. All it was was Edward and Bella got married. They had sex. Bella got knocked up. She had a kid. It was so dramatic, and she turned into a vampire. Yeah. They should turn to a vampire. They had to bite her to save her, so they saved her. So that was that. Yeah, it's pretty boring. It was just about love. Yeah. I mean, there but, was nothing they had to but, run but, from. But, 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 but let's not go ahead and ward this, you know, this interview with Twilight. I mean, Twilight has its own crew, its own following to go ahead and, you know, make fact, it popular. Our let's, question let's, of let's, the night, we're going to have a poll for question of the night, is what movie do you think is going to do better, Breaking Dawn Part 2 or The Hunger Games? I now that's Games. that's up to you to answer that after this video, all right? Or whenever you. I think the Hunger Games. Games has a better cast. I mean, Lenny Kravitz, Woody Harrelson, Alexander Ludwig. Alexander Ludwig. I mean, you got some good people in there. And I heard Jennifer Lawrence is a good actor. Yes, yeah, so I heard it's very good. I heard she played an X Men First Class that blue character. That's it. Yeah. And, and Woody Harrelson, come on, Woody Harrelson always plays a good part. Oh I mean, yeah, I saw that movie with me and him. Oh yeah, I saw it online. Oh, you did say it? Yeah. Wait, wait. If it ever comes, on, you have to watch it. No, Woody Harrelson is a class. He, he's a great actor. Yeah. And I just want to go see Hunger Games because of him. I want to see how he plays. And Hunger the Games. legendary Donald Sutherland will be in that movie. Oh yeah, Donald Sutherland. That's another good one too. You he's see? legendary. Yes, yes. And you know who his son is, right? Kiefer. Right, yeah. Kiefer Sutherland. All right. So on to bigger and better pot topics. Yep. Um. Demi Moore. She checked into rehab. What happened? Man, if she didn't hit the wall. Yep. Like, and, 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 like wait, wait. here's the wall. No, wait, here's no, another thing. Well, there's the wall, okay. people. No, wait, wait. And she just is, goes. But wait, 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 but this is another thing, okay? Ow. This, this, I'm sorry, this, this just didn't happen overnight. So then you have to ask yourself if she was into all this drugs and cocaine, like the Arabic, you know, magazines are saying. She, wait. Was that the reason why Ashton have, cheated on her? No, you have to think to yourself, is Ashton caught up in it too? And with that being said, is Ashton Kutcher going to turn out just like another Charlie Sheen, the biggest asshole in Hollywood? <laughs> You know, I, I thought you said Jocko Phoenix was. Well, he's sucking. But Charlie, <laughs> Sheen, don't get me wrong. Charlie Sheen has the great humor and everything. But you know what? He, he, you know, I, I hold my breath just to hear his name up on the news one day in regards to him dying because he just OD'd somewhere. But think about it. Demi Moore. I mean, she's on a lot of stuff. That didn't happen overnight. Now, was her and Ashton Kutcher partying all the time? And if so, what does Ashton do? Is Ashton on this stuff too? You one, one has to think. I mean, you just don't start doing cocaine overnight and popping all these pills overnight and have this happen to you. And, and she's been looking like hell since she's been with Bastion Kutcher. So you really have to think, were these two partying this much? And like I said, I, I feel sorry for the cast on Two and a Half Men. Because, I mean, if he gets anything like Charlie Sheen, pff, you're going to look for another character. Oh, anyway, I told you guys about this the last episode. Here are the new three students. Drum roll, please. Ashton Kutcher, Tom Brady, and Bill Achek. Bill Belichick. No, Bill Belichick. That, they're the new three students. In our eyes, anyway. My dad made that up the other night. Yeah, I know. Yeah. 
But getting back to the well, we already talked about the Patriots, but nah. <laughs> but yeah, but that that. He hit work. rock bottom. Yeah, and just not really did anything. Just because you show him. Anyway, Valentine's Day is coming up, so uh, another day. Just another day. You're so glum. Turn that brown. Okay. It is. It's just another day for me. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love. Talk to Wayne on Valentine's Day. You'll have a good Valentine's Day. <laughs> I think Wayne's avoiding me like the plague. Why? I don't know. I really don't. I thought you guys would be like the match made in heaven. Nah, nah. I don't think so. Anyway. I, it's like it's like talk it's about like, energy. It's like Mr. Krabs and SpongeBob. Do you feel it? No. I don't feel it. <laughs> anyway. Good, good friend. You know, good guy to have a beer with. It's good. All right. So. <gasps> oh yeah, we're good. We were lost for words. We're talking about breakups. Breakups. We just talked about breakup. Demi and Ashton. And Giselle and Tom Brady. Well, Giselle and Tom Brady. Oh, ready? Ready? She screw you up. She's a gold digger. Yeah. She belongs to me. She belongs to me. Ain't nothing like gold, gold digger. digger. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nothing like gold digger. You ain't nothing like gold digger. Isn't that? I'll tell you what. That, but you know what? Serves them right. The night before the Super Bowl, they went ahead and they cut a player off of the Patriots. What was his name? Tequan. Oh, I, I, I don't know. They yeah, cut I'm him. kidding. They cut him the day before, the night before the Super Bowl. Now, how the hell do you do that to a player that's been with this team from the start of the season until Super Bowl? You know what? It serves Tom Brady and Bill Belichick for losing that game and for him to lose Giselle because that's Tom just not Brady. Right. That's, sucks, that's, man. that's that's not cute. No, that's just that's just wrong. That's just that's wrong. That's just so wrong. And... Oh, dang it! What are they going to say? Hey, hey. We lost our words again. That doesn't happen often. Like, I, I was really going to broadcast something. You were really going to broadcast something. What was it? What was it? What was it? Said just put them look at it and just start talking. You just put them there and talk about it. Anyway, is that entertainment? That's entertainment. Oh, yes, yes, that's what it was. Uh, um, As you all know, Journey to the Center of the Earth 2, the mysterious oh. island, came out. And tomorrow, tomorrow's episode, I'm going to tell you how it did in the box office. Oh. Uh. So for all you Wayne people, Wayne Johnson. Stuck. I don't care if he's stuck on himself. I still like the look at him. Oh, did you see the the pecs of steel? Did, no, I didn't see the pecs of steel. Oh, that's so funny. I'll show, I'll show you after this episode. His smile. Like he like these are pecs of steel. He's awesome. And um, Josh Anderson's like, and then he's like, here, throw something at him. He did, and it bounced right off. Dwayne Johnson. Like I said, I know he's full of himself, but pff, if I look like that, I'd be full of myself too. <laughs> you know, what's the difference whether a guy's full of himself and they talk about him? Or these supermodels, these Victoria's Secret models are full of themselves. True. Anyway, that was our entertainment block. Okay. So, I hope you enjoyed. Oh, go Devils. Yay! All right. Go Devils. As you see, my hair is Devils. Go Marty. Garden. All right. Okay. Anyway, that's all we have for tonight's episode. But, like I said, the question, well, the poll of the night. What is it going to do better? Breaking Dawn Part 2 or... Or the Hunger Games. Hunger Games, all the way. Watch it, guys. Looks like Watch it. It looks like it's going to be a great movie. See, in 3D, like said, kiss Alexander Ludwig's pictures. And like, and don't like, kiss Josh Hutcherson. I'll give you mono. Great, great cast. Oh, uh, yeah. Great cast. That, that's all. Oh, and hopefully most of Lenny most Kravitz of your favorite looks awesome. characters is Clove, because I did, love Clove. Did you see Lenny Kravitz? Lenny oh, Kravitz is awesome. Oh, and other question. Who's your favorite Hunger Games character, if you read the books? Hey, Mitch. <laughs> all right. Peace out on this Friday night.